I have analysed horror comedy spoofs and looked at the codes and conventions which the audience looks out for when watching the films. In all the films, they have used enigma codes, like in Shaun of the Dead, when he's walking like a zombie, or sort of lifeless and tired. He makes all the moaning noises, which the zombies, when they've taken over the world later on in the film, make the same noises, and then you think back to the beginning, and it answers your question of what will happen. They use quite low-key lighting when the scene is quite scary and dark, say when there's death occurring, and then when something happy is happening, say a romance or something funny happens, not linked in with death, it's quite high key, so it's quite bright and upbeat. They also use connotations of blood and fire, which links in with uh, the original horror genre, but in these films they've made it quite humorous. Um, they use s symbolic codes, um, which for horror films they look, focus in on the facial features, which should be quite scared. Say when there's a chase going on, you would expect the person being chased to look quite scared and tense that they're going to die. And then for comedy, it's quite sarcastic and happy. So in these horror films, uh, they've linked these together, like in... Zombieland, when a slightly overweight man is running away from a zombie, his face is quite scared and he's all sweaty where he's been running and he looks exhausted and then the zombie's running with a sort of face like, ha, look at you, which is quite sarcastic and quite funny and the audience recognises this. Um, the conventions they've used, they use quite a lot of obvious editing, like in Scary Movie when the man's on fire, when it's focused on the woman talking about something serious, then you look at the background and it's quite funny. And in Zombieland and Shaun of the Dead, they use a lot of sound effects to enhance the sound of breaking objects, which also happens in usual horror films. They use a lot of immature humour, like in Zombieland when the woman's going through the front windscreen, they make slow motion so the facial expressions on the woman's face is slowed down and quite immature. And in Scary Movie when uh, he has to cut off his own leg to save both of them and he looks down and he's cut the wrong leg off and he's holding up the foot and there's like no blood or anything so it's really obvious. And for the genre that I looked at, it's clear that the audience looks for death which happens in the usual horror genre but to be changed into a humorous situation. They listen out for the traditional horror sounds like um, the suspense sound, maybe when something jumps out at you, or when a chase is, <clears throat> chase is going on. Um, and in all of the horror comedy spoofs I have looked at, there's always physical pain of a character that happens on purpose, you can see that it's on purpose, like they're tripping up over something and you can see that they're in pain but the audience finds it quite funny because it's, they can relate to it, like sometimes it happens when you're in the street.